Hello and welcome back, mateys. We are just leaving Nekataka. Not really sure where to, because we can go to Artikawara, Motaro Cozy, Gadarian Bosch. Oh yeah, Gadarian Bosch. I guess we'll kill him uh, on the way. Is he going north? Uh, looks like he's going, yeah. Maybe we will not run into him. But we still have a lot to explore. It's gonna take some time to do it. It's been a while since we named an island. Can't say I really think uh, of good names uh, to name them. Just uh, I improvise on the spot. Um. <laughs> hmm. So I guess we're gonna just explore it in a circle. There is uh, an island here for sure. Pamir script. We definitely didn't explore this. Might as well check it out. Well, we can check that out. Uh, we get some water. Fine. I, I suppose the crew would mutiny if, if I didn't have any water or food on board. Uh, that would be a source uh, of concern. <clears throat> the stone altar before you is empty, save for dried, flaking blood and bits of hair crusting its surface. So it's probably a sacrificial ritual. Uh, altar. Examine the altar. The space before the altar is smoothed from centuries of shuffling feet and the press of countless bony knees. Water dripping from somewhere above has created a swampy morass of mud behind the altar. You chip away some of the old blood on the surface of the altar and find a couple of deep gashes in the stone, testimony to the many grisly sacrifices that must have occurred here. Search the area around the altar. She failed! Your cursory search of the altar reveals nothing. Of interest. Yeah, she's the best at it. She has like 10. <clears throat> but no, that's not good enough. Examine the altar. Will we always fail it? I think it's a, a fix. Yeah, it's not RNG. You need to have the correct amount. There is no RNG involved in it. Uh, so that's it. Perhaps we can level up. I think she has a. Uh, Survival of Tim. In the distance, you spy the entrance to a cave sunken into the hillside, barely hidden behind the stunted, shriveled tusks, trunks of leafless trees. Approach the cave. As you approach the cave, something snaps beneath your boot. You look down, expecting a stick, and find the, the splintered remains of ancient bone. You see the ground before the cave with new eyes. When you first thought... Uh, what you first thought were branches or bones, some half buried in the dirt, others piled in drifts, many are bleached with... white with age. You linger at the entrance to the cave. The passage beyond extends into pitch black darkness. It reeks of decay and, and death. Alright, let's enter the cave. I can't think of it any more uh, inviting cave. Like, it at it least looks exciting. Something happened here. I guess. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, wow. So, someone's at home. It's like a rather small cave. Oh, Famir's? Oh boy, we're getting surrounded. Probably don't have to run away. I can try to intimidate the terrified the familiars. Might work. They're currently a little bit struggling with the damage they're dealing. Ooh, she took some damage. 
Maya? Oh. She's terrified. Someone charmed her. She's dominated. Might just die. Don't kill her. Jump away. That doesn't work. Jump over there. Oh, she's terrified again. Well, now it worked. Dominated again. Who's charming us? This looks like a tough fight. I need to. <laughs> Come on, do this. What? She. Ha, what? No way. She. She got injuries. While wow, she got charmed. Wow, this Famir's a no joke. Okay. Whatever. Respect the. Famir's a little bit. Not a lot, though. Why were they not dying? I might have to check this. Famir's coming toward us. They are immune to intellect afflictions, so we should probably not waste time with that. Maybe do a, a wall. Can we do a wall? Why can't we do a wall? This is one of the new spells we get. Could be good. At there, please don't go into the, the damn wall. That could be the wall of death. The wall is up. That wall is no joke. As far as I know. Oh no! At there, ran into the wall. Okay, let's do a prison pillar. But we're getting charmed. It's really annoying. Prison pillar into prison pillar. Okay, finally one hit. Problem is, Eddie is so eager to run into that wall, you just get owned. Yeah, they somehow inflicting, are inflicting injuries on us, which is uh, annoying to say the least. Okay, let's terrify them. This is bullshit. Did it work? No, I think they interrupted it. There's no way we did it so fast. Okay, terrify worked somewhat. Building wind, it's so big. But I kind of want to... Chain lighting, no, 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 not that. This one. <laughs> what a tough fight. Soti, you want to heal? Holy Radiance. Let's do that. <laughs> Wait, what? Why is she casting that? What happened to her, to her AI? Oh, she's she's dominated. Oh boy. Looks like willpower afflictions are the most dangerous ones. What the hell? These Famirs are never die. Yeah, that seemed like a lot of damage. Uh, hit the Famirs. Not our own teammates, hopefully. Famir. Why is it not dying? He's dead now. What the hell was that fight? Let's rest.
I suppose if you come here unprepared uh, with an Iron Man drawn, this could be your end. Superb, really? Only superb? Yeah, I don't know about that. This this felt like a legendary fight to me. Well, obviously we're taking everything. Just got it. They have nothing really exceptional. Well, I suppose they have that. Plus one quick item slots, weapon sets, all defenses except deflection, increases with history skill. Okay. Hmm. That's only deflection. That's kind of the opposite of that. Yeah, whatever. What What's going on here? The ancient Adric coffin rested up a worn stone pedestal. Is this it? Hmm. Perhaps this place will be relevant later. Or maybe we needed to kill these guys for a bounty. But yeah, that was a rather tough fight. G getting your. Well, being charmed is, is a pain in the ass. Or terrified, or any kind of veil affliction. I don't name. Uh, I guess I guess I shouldn't go with vampires. I don't know. Let's call this the peaceful forest. Pfft. Nice. You're welcome, vampires. Free snacks for you. Orio <clears throat> Koiki? Motare Ukozi? Sure. Repair supplies. Actually, I should look at the crew. Crew, you guys are fine? The time it takes for them to heal up is bloody insane. Wait, what? They're good now? Those people are good now. That I left in, left back home. Ah, who cares about them? Oh, maybe I ran out of a medicine. Ah, uh, that's a very possible uh, scenario. Gunpowder. So, what's going on at Ori Okoiki? Do we have any exact information about this place? Oh, shipwreck? Should we check it from the land? Oh, we can't. Well, I guess we're gonna check it a little bit later. Is there a way to defend against uh, being feared or terrified or something something? I'm pretty sure that that was a very important thing in Pillars 1. It doesn't really come up in Pillars 2. But I suppose it could come up and it's damn so dangerous. So this is where the Wahaki roost. Don't mind me as I take down our coordinates. So just some regular Wahaki guys. Young woman steps up to the edge of the cliff and peers down, wearing an amused grin. She fingers the curve of a long hunting bow. You went into the jungle for animal hides, I say, and found yourself in an empty clearing. What? I did not. Akira, the clearing was empty, I say. You asked no questions. She scowls down at you. You turned around and retraced your steps back to your ship. 
where it was safe. Oh, I got it. She picks up her hunting bow and knocks an arrow, pointing it in your direction. Well, I guess that's nice. She at least is not shooting me on sight. Look, I just want to talk. Not if you cannot listen. With a sigh, she points the arrow to the ground. If you came to blunt my teeth with chatter, try to keep it short. I'll bring you an offer of alliance from Queen Wonkaza too. I'd like to speak with your chieftain. You have an audience with me. Ruasare doesn't waste time on outsider vagrants. How about some money? I seek a deeper understanding of your tribe. <laughs> Seriously? How's that diplomacy not bluff? I want to lavish my... Obsonance? Uh, obsonance? Uh, upon the mighty Vahaki leader, debasing myself before her excellence. Uh... Nope. I seek a deeper understanding of your tribe. The way her hand drops to her belt, she either doesn't understand or doesn't like the sound of your words. Deeper? Deeper how? I want to know about the people who survived the cataclysm of the old. She nods slowly, her expression guarded. There are many eyes on you, outsider. Use your time in Oreo Koiki wisely. Got it. Rasare will be expecting you inside. She gestures for one of the clips, uh, cliffside guards to look. Seeing as you've left. earned your way up from nuisance to guest, find me if you feel like trading. Got it. <laughs> Just sucking up to them. It works. Oh, should we steal? Hey, don't mind us. We're just uh, uh, taking um, exceptional hatchet, taking some memorandos of the Wahaki tribe. Should we go there? Uh, rocky outcroppings pepper the face of the cliffside. You can make out the shape of this of stone ruin situation high above. Uh, let's not do it. I, su I suspect that it's kind of a back entrance. So they're gonna be like, hey, why are you here? And then we kill them. So maybe let's just take the the lift they offer offered us. With the help of an elaborate pulley mechanism, this lift can be raised to the level of the plateau. Take the lift up. Web. Okay. <clears throat> nope, we're not gonna steal. They're awfully... Uh, I don't know, tense? Probably this is not the time. To strain our relationship. But it's, I'm gonna still take some flowers. Ota, Aparo. A round bellied man stands at ease before a cluster of hardened fighters, their fists bald and brows furrowed. Murmurs of tense discussions slow to a halt as a woman at the head of the crowd steps forward, clutching a spear. Maybe the spear's a gift for us? Yeah! Silence. She grooms the there. The outsider must leave. Oreo Koiki will not be parceled off and bought with foreign lies. She sweeps her spear tip to gesture in your direction. I don't care about your island. Ruasari would never let that happen. Where is your confidence in Aranka? I think there's a problem. I just got here. You haven't even given me a chance to cause trouble. <laughs> I think there's a problem. You are the problem. We do not track dirt in our home. See, that's the kind of attitude uh, why you guys got a bad reputation. We are no better than the outsiders if our Mataru act like inhospitable savages. Damn right. Uh, Aparo. Where is the courtesy and welcome of the Wahaki? Yeah. 
Maybe I shouldn't be the one saying that, but yeah. His question casts a ripple of unease over every listener. If you have such love for outsiders, let this one speak for herself. She fixes her attention on you. Give me a chance to prove myself worthy of your hospitality. I probably shouldn't hate on them. Like, they just want to be left alone. In a way. They are definitely... Have their... Uh, minds made up about... Outsiders. I guess. But... I mean... Murdering a lot of them? That probably will not change their minds. I'm a watcher, the gods brought me here. Oh, I don't want to go with that. If you fight me, you will all die. Damn. True, but... Okay, I'm not here for a fight. It would be a mistake to start one. That's That sounds like a threat. Give me a chance to prove myself worthy of your hospitality. You are not the first to speak in honeyed words while caressing a hidden blade. Yeah. If the outsider turns on us, I say I will drag you through Tangaloa's maw with me. For all our sakes, may I be proven wrong. On behalf of those who remember our manners, welcome to Oreo Kowiki. Hmm. Is there... Is there usually much in fighting when the outsiders show up? Ikira, I say circumstances have made us rough around the edges. Outsiders come with cannons, nets, torches. They do not come to talk. I have all those things. Why are the Vahaki so protective of their land? We safeguard any land that the trading companies have not stolen out from under Anakaza's throne. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Anakaza if, if uh, that gets me any bonus points here. The islands will fall if the tribes do not recall our past and Ngadi's covenant. Oh, please don't start bringing up religion. And why so much concern over the past? We lost much of ourselves when Cataclysm scoured the Deadfire. Somewhere among the islands, there's a place where we... Ikira, my apologies, but I should say no more. Nagati's Covenant? Ngati bade her followers to protect the islands, the tribes, and the Luminous Adra. For this, she gave us the power to shape her domain. If we fail in our charges, the birthright of the Huana disappears. The Wahaki remember this. The Kahanga? They forget. So, back to my other questions. Ask. I am pleased to be making a new friend. Are you and Rosar married? And that's an odd question. A pair regards you with confusion, then bursts into laughter. How the outsiders enjoy their vows. The Huana pair off, but we need no documents or witnesses. When it strikes Rosari's fancy that we should sleep under one roof, we do so vigorously. I really like the fact that you put vigorously. Added vigorously. Okay, sure. Aparo. Some think I influence her judgment. But they have the wrong of it. My back is too fragile for the weight of authority, I say. Mm, what can you tell me about Rusar? She is our Ranga. And the strength of our tribe. Chieftain. I have never seen her without a mouthful of Koiki. Even in battle, she wears a bandolier of fruit. <laughs> well... Okay. <clears throat> Was good save there, Aparo. Um, I I, I wouldn't use that uh, expression if I were you, Aparo. If uh, you just go out to these islands and you you never seen her without the mouthful of koiki, people might think of something else. You better not think about it. Just just putting it out there. Probably you shouldn't refer to her as uh that way. Okay. A spirited, passionate, and very hungry woman is my Rosare. Very hungry? That, 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 those are some... Okay. The last one was an odd way to describe her. It, it always... Well, the, the, this guy was like, Okay, seems so same, but like at, at the end of most sentences, he just like puts in something like... Puts in, puts in something special, like what? Very hungry, or vigorously, or whatever. 
Die Bärha? Bärha! Wait for me! Die Bärha! I just probably just climb you up. Die Bärha! Okay, let's talk. Akira, what now? I like to trade. You're in luck. I am the only one on the island who trades with outsiders. Wow. Kuaru's prize. Wow, more damage with spells? And intellect and perception? That's actually pretty good. Are we gonna buy that? I'll do that. So, that was the only trader in town. Apparently. So this is a, definitely a smaller settlement. I don't necessarily want to steal from them. Let's just go... Wait, Ota? Keep out of my way, outsider. Well, that was very... <clears throat> nice. Let's go into their sanctum and meet the chieftain of this tribe. So what's going on here? Most unusual lantern, he said. Okay, so they got some chronicles in here. Our teachers. Hmm. So, uh... Interesting. Like, it's a, it's a completely different way to build, well, but they just tunnel in here and use stone and outside they just use huts, like, it's not exactly the same thing. Just thought that they have both. This copper brazier reeks of ashes and burnt hair, a layer of soot and detritus slime, the blackened concavity. Examine the brazier. Oh, steel. Among the ashes you find charred fruit pits, scraps of parchment, shards of poetry, animal bones, and metal bundles of singed hair. That's it. Okay, and the guy is not gonna talk to us. So they have their own rituals, I suppose. And this is where we're gonna see their big boss, lady. The broad-shouldered woman on the throne lifts her gaze to meet yours. White face paint adds a grim aspect to her stoic demeanor. Smoldering braziers fill the air with oppressive heat, but she sits at ease. I am the Ranga of this tribe, and will not hesitate to send your soul through Tangaloa's maw if you threaten my people. Got it. Nothing like a good old threat to start the conversation? Well, that's a fine greeting. These are not fine times. Except for the Huana traders who sleep on beds of outsider coin. Ooh. You have the gift of our hospitality during this audience. Do not abuse it. But will our hospitality be returned? I don't know. Sitting forward in her seat, she opens her fist to reveal a plump, coiky fruit. She takes a deep and... Thoughtful bite. Outsiders do not come to Oreo Kuiki unless they want something. Um. I come to scar the strife from the Death Fire. Queen Wonkaza 2 proposes an alliance with the Vahaki. Queen. I am thinking you are very free with this meaningless outsider word. Yeah. Foreigners hold the islands upside down, shaking them to loosen their riches. Onikaza gives them comfort. Akira, these are not the actions of a queen. You don't think she's... You don't think she's just biding her time? Bah. Then she never should have let the foreigners take a step onto dead fire soil. She doesn't really have a choice. You think the queen is cunning, but she is on the brink of losing her power. Yeah, that's what I got as well. And I'm, I'm kind of impressed that you, you got that as well. She's very uh, concerned with that. 
The queen is more vicious than you might guess, so am I. You, but I don't need the threat. You're failing for the same trap that the foreigners are, assuming that she's weak on the base of appearances. Well, I suppose, like, we can't really say that she's weak. Arusar opens her mouth to speak out against you, but stops herself. The Kahanka queen shows her belly so that the enemy will overlook her claws. This is a worthy tactic. Velia and Rawatai are foolish enough to fall for it. I mean, I I'm not gonna say that she's in a terribly good spot, but seems like she's fighting. Onikaza can enjoy her false sense of security for a bit longer. Akira, you are as blind as your countrymen. Before I agree to Onikaza's terms, I must deal with a pest of my own. Not as large as the trading companies, but nearly as vicious. You are knowing that the purchase of foreign slaves is allowed in the dead fire? I'm familiar with the practice. To buy and sell kith is the work of monsters. How did they clean out an entire port full of slavers? Oh, lass. Few build suckers more monstrous than slave trading build suckers. She furs her brow at Seraphim, deciding whether to recognize the sentiment. In the end, she merely nods and returns her focus to you. These slavers hunt the waters around Oreo Kuiki. Like cowards, they shy away from the deeper jungle. <laughs> Despite Rosar's hearty guffaw, uh, not a trace of humor reaches her eyes. They steal my people from their fishing boats and sell them like pigs at auction. Where is Onikaza to stop them? Someone must teach them the meaning of Wahaki vengeance, I say. You're talking about Proxper? I already dealt with them. <laughs> Could this be true? I lost the headmaster of Kua? Yep. The priest consults his bones, his brow ra uh, raises, and he nods to the queen. What say? If those parasites drew their final breaths, I would hear of it. Master Kue is dead, his business is finished. While Onakaza plays at diplomacy, we are the spear in the guts of our enemies. I have come to expect troubling news from outsiders. Today is no different, but at least you bring me a tale for my grandchildren. Well, that's not exactly troubling news. If you, if you, if I bring such a good news that you're gonna tell that story for generations to come, you know, that's kind of a good story. And not like, ooh, like, you gotta take out the slavers and I just go and take out the slavers and it takes like years then I go back and it's a big celebration, like, wow, the slavers are gone. No, she's just like, hey, the slavers are a problem. And I'm like, yeah, I already uh, got rid of them. <laughs> okay, sure. Continue. But that means we can just go do the next thing. Nothing to herself, Ruazar looks you up and down, weighing something spoken. Tell Onakaza that the Wahaki accept her authority. If the time comes when she needs to show foreigners the breadth of her power, we will be there. She has literally nothing to do with that. The slave thing. Literally nothing. She did not mention it once. She did not acknowledge it once. Uh, actually, you, you. If if anyone you have to thank for that is me, obviously, and somewhat the Prince of New Blood. That's it. So, oh no, nah, I mean m me. Uh, that's mean like my crew. I don't wanna take sole uh, credit for the deed. The hospitality of the Wahaki is yours. Respect our ways and cause no trouble. Aye aye. So we can go back to Queen Wonkaza. Tangara? Outsider. Unlike Barapo, I do not use this as a term of offense, I say. Tangara gives you a pleasant smile. Why are these named guys running off? We do not see many visitors on Oreo Koiki. Those who come, uh, <laughs> seldom leave. You said that outsiders don't tend to leave Ori Okoiki? They come asking our Ranga to show her belly and surrender. Oh. Instead, she shows them their guts at the end of a spear. Tangara grins and makes a trusting motion with both hands. What are your thoughts on Burapo? Uh, 
how he fills our home with the stink of his burnt offerings. A rational mystic burns incense or candles, but Burapo burns koiki, rotten meat, and bundles of hair. Sounds like he's crazy. Nothing is spared his flame if it appeases the gods. What's wrong with your construct? A valuable lesson about animancy, I say. There is quality and there is cheap, but never both. <laughs> The rust bucket does not follow my instructions and ignores my command words. I could, I could check it out. I am appreciating the offer, but it is better if I learn how to operate my degraded friend. Okay. I could accept that, but you know, if the goal is to have an operational golem, then, or con construct, then, uh. I guess. Like, if you're just practicing, that's that's cool. I would be a poor host if the ironclad thing decided to remove your skin. I'm something with a construct expert. If I get a closer look at the at the make of this one, I could narrow down the source of the malfunction. Raising his fingers to his lips, Tangara scrutinizes you in silence. Akira, it seems I must credit the gods for sending you to Oreo Koiki. Barapo be damned, I say. Here, the command words. They do me little good. <laughs> Alright, Tangara. Barapo, you wanna talk before you run off? I would pray louder if it kept outsiders away from Oreo Kawiki. Well, try it. I say Vruasare would not like it if I denied you hospitality. How, how do you and Tangara get along? Poorly. He ventures away from our islands and invites the wrath of the gods, I say. May Ngati devour that outsider construct he dragged back with him. Tangara tells me that you are fond of burnt offerings. The tribe balances on the edge of ruin. And my burnt offerings appease those who watch over us. I'll take your word for it. Godlessness raised the green man, and the gods will put him back down, I say. The green man? Okay. You think Gon's gonna set the final harvest upon us because of Kith's godlessness? Maybe, but ain't no gods gonna stop him. Oh, so t you actually made sense of what he was talking? I, I, I thought he was just talking about aliens. That that sounded pretty much, pretty appropriate uh, for the crazy talk he was, uh, well, doing earlier. Okay, I guess he was talking about Eotas. Ikira, this is why outlanders do not speak the will of the gods for the tribe. Oh, I'd say that statue has more than its share of god in it. For what does your crew of misfits address me? Farewell, Burapo. Let's just be friendly. Rusted construct, let's fix this. No. Oh. Can no one do it? You were saying? Speak the words of the command scroll. You read the words of the scroll, uh, doubtful of the faded arcane scrib scribblings until the tingling, uh, tingling sensation passes your lips. The construct abruptly hardens its bearing and turns to you, standing it at attention. Um, it seems that conflicting instructions from too many masters has led the, to the rapid de degeneration of this construct's short-term memory. Vibe the construct's memory. You draw out the babbling, incoherent mass of instructions received over the years. The construct trembles uh, throughout the procedure. The construct now stands at ease, regarding its surrounding with fresher clarity. Order the construct to kill Tangara. Maybe you'll prove useful later. That's just crazy. I have no reason to hurt them. Oh, what? Where did the... Chief, where are you? She she just left. I think we already had the talk with her, so we can just go. The good old restart did the trick. Well, not, not purely restart, but like, yeah. That's basically what we did. Wipe the memory. It all works. You're welcome, Tung. Well, should we? No. I think that that's it. We don't have to tell Tangari about it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna just take the lift. 
Should we check out the the cave? Have somebody studied the cliff? You do it. Maya squints at the rock face and points at dangers which eluded you until now. Let's climb up. Scout the safe route. You do it. Oh, Ori Quakey Sanctum? That's like a back entrance. Hopefully it's not gonna lead to some conflict. Oh, interesting. Oh, hey, Russar. Hey, fancy seeing you here. I will hear you, outsider. I came to discuss this. I don't know, farewell. This is fine. I don't think we have anything to really talk about. The slaver problem? Uh, pff, it's dealt with. We can just go. Wow. So this is her uh, secret entrance. Climb down. We can just leave. This way, I believe. It's a bit of a bummer that it doesn't sh uh, the game doesn't show it anymore. It should, but hey, fine. So, despite a little bit of uh, hmm, despite the concerns about outsiders, they didn't attack me, and uh, I don't know, like. I suppose they they over you were overall friendly ultimately. And guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.